Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we're going to take a close look on the Ishin DVR-03 4-in-1 camera system. This is the latest camera from Ishin on their all-in-one cameras. And the newest feature of this camera is the ability to record DVR directly into the micro SD card. So it has all the features of the TX03, which means you can choose between three strengths, 25 milliwatt, 50 milliwatt, and 200 milliwatt. But in addition, we have here these three buttons that enables you to uh, record, play uh, DVR videos directly from this camera. So in this video, we're gonna see how this camera performs and now we're going to compare it with the TX03 camera. So in the box we got the camera, we got this adapter and also this instruction manual. The weight of the camera is 7.5 grams so it is heavier than the TX03 which is 5 grams. In addition, this camera also have a built-in microphone so you can record the audio also to the DVR. Setting up the channel and frequency and strength is done exactly like the TX03. So first, first of all, when you long press this button, it enables you to change between the frequencies. So you can change between nine frequencies. Then another long press enables you to change between the channel. You have eight channels. So the total, total combination is 72 channels. Then when you long press it again, for a longer period, you can choose between zero, which is zero milliwatt, one half is 25, 50, and 200 milliwatts. We're gonna leave it right now or zero, which is zero, we're gonna leave it right now on 25 milliwatt. And I'm going to connect my FPV goggles and show you all the features of the DVR. So in order to get to the main menu, you will have to press the middle button for a short press. This is the same DVR that Ishin have on their Pro DVR, which I've already reviewed, but let's quickly go through it. So first you can format the SD card, right now I didn't put any SD card yet. You can choose the language, system reset, light frequency, you can choose between NTSC or PAL, video time, you can choose between one minute and off, you can choose sound between on and off, let's leave it on. And these are the la supported languages. I'm gonna stick to English. And when you long press this button again, you are back to the video. Let's put an SD card and see how it works. So after inserting the SD card, you can see on the bottom right corner the time that I have left in the card to record. Now, how would you use the, this uh, SD card in order to record some videos? So if you long press this top button, it can show you the videos that you already uh, recorded and then you can play them just when you press the middle button and just play the video. See, now it's, <laughs> it was, this wasn't a very successful flight. If you wanna go back to the video mode, just long press this button again, and you're done. Recording the video is done by simply short pressing the middle button. Now you can see we have the counter. Now I can see that the delay, it's, the video seems more laggy when it's recording so <laughs> it is not a good thing because it will actually want you won't be able to fly fpv as it seems right now when it's recording i'm gonna do a uh, latency test but it seems very very laggy let's just stop the video from recording you can see now it's much better when we're recording when we're recording so you can see the difference for yourself, even without a latency test. So this is 
a big no-no. If you're looking for an FPV camera with a DVR for an F for a quadcopter, a micro quadcopter, this is not the camera that you should get. But if you want to put it on a plane, like an FPV plane or as a second camera or whatever, this is my this might be the solution for you. But let's just do it latency test just to see see how well it performs. So I'm gonna start the timer and I'm gonna do the latency test without the recording on. So let's see. Okay. The average delay is about 70 milliseconds. You can pause the video and see for yourself. And now I'm going to start recording. Now the average delay is about 100 to 110 milliseconds, so there is a big difference. And although it's only 25 milliwatt, it does get a bit hot. I'm not sure if it's gonna ruin something in the SD card. I don't think it's gonna get that hot, but this is something to can take into consideration as well. In the next video, I'm going to show you how it performs outdoors and I'm going to put a side-by-side -side video of the recorded video on the DVR and the recorded DVR I've recorded with my receiver. Okay, so let's see how the audio performs as well. So I put it here on the bench and we're gonna take it around the park. Okay, now I'm going to switch it to 200 milliwatt. I got to a range of about 350 meters without any problems and the, pro the camera performed pretty well. You can see that the DVR quality is good, the sound quality is good, but the latency is a bit disappointing. So putting it on a micro quadcopter is not the best idea in the world, but if you want to put it on a plane, a free plane, this product might suit you. So I hope you will enjoy the rest of the video and see you on my next videos. Goodbye.